Hey, this is Matt Reisinger of the Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I'm here with Lou Harriman. Lou, how are you today? I'm great. Thanks, Matt. Good to see you. Lou and I are uh, just finishing the second day of Building Science Summer Camp. We're here in Westford, Massachusetts. Uh, actually, behind me here is uh, Joe Lestibrick and Betsy Pettit's house. Uh, Lou and I are at the after party. And uh, one of the things that got rolled out just recently that Lou was the co-author on, this is published uh, through the EPA, is this book right here. Lou, tell us about this book. Well, this is the uh, the EPA's moisture control guidance for designing and constructing and maintaining buildings. And what the EPA did, uh, largely through the efforts of building scientists like the people that attend this, is to collect best practices. Mm -hmm. So, to be clear, this is not a law, it's not a regulation. Yep. Uh, it's a little bit like a parachute. There's no law that requires you to use one, <laughs> uh, but it's a good idea. Yeah. Um, and this is a series of good ideas yeah. uh, organized by the EPA. That's great, Lou. Great. I get a lot of questions on my blog in particular about, hey, I'm a young builder or I'm building my first house. Point me to some resources that I can learn more about building science. And of course, people do use my video blog and my blog for that. But this is a great resource. How can people sure. get a hold of this resource? Uh, this, this is the nice thing is this has already been paid for by your taxes. This is your tax dollars at work. That's awesome. So all you have to do is go to the EPA's website site and you can link to that and yeah, I'll, I'll put a link and put a, look for the link in the description below here uh, for that but actually to be fair uh, this book just by itself is a nice way to start understanding the building science with respect to controlling moisture in buildings mm -hmm. many other things that one needs to know in terms of controlling temperature and uh, appropriate ventilation but this does a really great job of that one thing of moisture which ties into all building science yeah that's for sure and, and Lou uh, I, I heard a stat the other day that something like 80 some percent of uh, construction related lawsuits had something to do with moisture and of course we know that moisture is the number one durability enemy for wood frame structures so a handbook like this is vitally important for for the builders out there in this well in that, this nation. That, that's exactly correct and and uh, and one of the things one of the reasons that EPA felt that they had a public health interest and charter in assembling this information is the fact that about 20 percent of the asthma cases in this country are caused because because of excess dampness and its effects on people in buildings. Yeah. So we're talking uh, several billion dollars a year worth of lost productivity as well as a disruption, both personal and financial, that comes from problems, health problems related to dampness in buildings. Wow, that's right. amazing. Right. I'm looking forward to reading it. Lou, thank you for your time uh, both today and, and, and uh, putting, I'm sure, untold thousands of hours <laughs> into this book. Thank you, Lou, that's I appreciate it. Thank you, Matt. So look right. for the link below, download a copy, it's a PDF, it's about 15 megabytes, I believe. I, uh, I downloaded mine earlier today. What a great resource. Thank you, Louie. We'll see you all next time. Have a good day, everybody.